Do you want a rich cinematic film look without spending hours tweaking in DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro? Let me show you a nifty plugin that does the heavy lifting for you, and its name is Dehancer Pro, and it's kind of magical. Dehance is a film emulation plugin designed to bring the classical look of analog film right into your digital workflow. And it works as a plugin right inside of DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro. And it comes with over 60 film stocks, grain control, halation, bloom, and even film breath. It's made to give your digital footage a more film look, look really easily. It's basically a color grading tool on steroids. So it gives an opportunity for those who don't understand colour grading, or who don't want to do it, the ability to colour grade their footage without the hassle. Now before I start, let me point out that I have a 10% discount code in the description of this video. It's got a whole bucket load of controls. In fact, it can feel rather overwhelming at first, just how much customization is available. Look at all these sections giving fine level control. However, there are main sections that are needed to get going with the plugin, and they are found, fortunately, at the top. You first need to pick your source input and Dehancer supports a number of input color profiles, obviously ones like Rec 2020, but also Wide Gamma Intermediate and even Rec 709. The Rec 709 is the one that I was most interested in playing with, as I have a lot of footage in this format, and I wanted to see how well Dehancer would work with these files. More on that later. And there is the option to pick a camera. So for example, if you shoot on an iPhone, you could pick Apple, then iPhone, and then which log format you did. Or for example, I have a Sony A6700, so I would pick Sony, and then my camera, A6700, and then the color profile. Also for DJI users, perhaps like me, you have got a Pocket 3, and there are even profiles for that too. Next, you'll pick a film stock, and there are over 60 film profiles to choose from, which emulate all the nuances and aspects of the old film stock. Now many of you are probably too young to remember the golden days of shooting on analog cameras and having photos printed by specialist labs. Names like Kodak, Fujifilm, Ilford probably mean nothing to the kids of the day. Old boys and girls like me will remember these names from the 80s and 90s. Anyway, you pick through these film stocks and see which ones match the kind of look you are looking for as a starting point. From then on, the other controls tweak the way it responds to the film look changing the contrast, the colour separation, and you can customise all to your liking. All the other controls provide a playground of control over exactly the parameters of that film look. And I'm just going to show a few of them as this is just a review video. Just remember to switch on the setting by pressing enabled, otherwise you're going to find you're wondering why things don't appear to be changing. Now some of the controls are more visual effects, like halation and bloom, to give highlights a real ethereal look, and there's even the option to add film grain if you really want that old school film noir look. And now here come some Rec 709 clips, which are clips I've pulled from my iPhone. As you can see, even the Rec 709 clips can be graded to some degree. Of course, log clips give better and greater headroom for changes, but I was pleasantly surprised 
how much the Rec 799 clips could be graded as well. Now it's definitely worth saying that although I've shown the plugin in DaVinci Resolve, there's also a version for Final Cut Pro and also Premiere if you use those. And there are also photo plugins for photo programs like Photoshop and Affinity, so even if you're a photographer, then you can make use of the plugin to transform your photos. And there's also a version for mobile which is really cute, allowing altering of your videos and photos directly on the iPhone and the iPad. Now, however, although this is a pretty cool feature pack plugin, it does come at a hefty price tag of around $500. So if you're not a professional or content creator that likes to grade all the footage, then this is an expensive piece of software. It's probably a little bit overkill if you make videos occasionally or you're just starting out. This is a professional level software with a suitably professional level price tag. But if you're interested, then check out the link in the description where I have a 10% discount, which is going to help with that cost slightly. That's all, and I hope you really like the video. Thanks for watching, and take care.